Hello everyone. Um, so we have been hearing some noises up in our attic and we know it's squirrel. I think there's like three or four of them. So the squirrel goes up from our front door. It actually climbs up our door, uh, looks at us from that window making sure and say, hey homies. <laughs> and then um, it just jumps uh, to the other side of the roof. And there's probably a hole that they have made or they found a hole from somewhere from our roof that they go uh, in the attic. So we're just trying to figure out what's going on and trying to get rid of them. Here is another hole or a space that potentially needs to be sealed as well, but we'll see what needs to be done. We went to Angie's list and found um, CJB Pest Company that is going to help us remove the squirrels and birds from our attic and, and seal everywhere else. So you can see Chad up on the roof, he's trying to clean the bird nest that's actually there in the hole. I don't know how they made it, but definitely have to get, get rid of them. Here is Matt up in the attic trying to clean whatever is in our attic and then disinfect it. It has to be a squirrel nest. What's that? It has to be a squirrel nest, right? I have no idea. But yeah, see they hung out like right there. That is huge. Yeah, I don't really get it. Oh, that's there's no way that's the bird nest. I mean, it's gotta be. I don't know what else would it be. It must take a lot of work to have that much of. Uh, yeah, there. it would have taken a lot of work for sure because you got to think that they'd have to carry each and every little piece from over there to here. Right. So. It looks like this squirrel has chewed through here. Um, Matt said he was going to steal here, but it's an interesting thing to see up in the attic. Look at that size of the bag, and there's actually two of them. It's crazy how they got it up in there. Rock on! <laughs> yeah, I went ahead and sent them. Dude, look at this thing up there.
Okay, I just want to make sure you're... Yeah. Okay. yeah. By all means. in there now yeah the sealant it's like a, it's like a, it's kind of like great stuff only it's contractor version and it's made it's okay. made for sealing up areas as opposed to that great stuff doesn't last very long it it really isn't awesome from what I've seen with that nastiness it just it frays from the weather and it's not it'll work for a good fix but this stuff works really okay. good hey Chad how are you Thanks for coming to my house and uh, fixing this up. Absolutely, anytime. Okay, so, good. definitely wanted to get this stuff sealed up so that other things don't get in your house. Cool, cool. Um, so, how, so how long uh, have you been doing this? About three years. Three years? Yes. Yeah? Never saw myself doing this in a million years. <laughs> I actually used to work as an environmental resource manager, or manager, and I've also spent time in the Army. So, doing wow. this is not something I thought. Or, you know, you see it in the movies and you're like, oh, the pest control guy, right? Yeah. But it's so, I have so much fun. That's good. I get good. to have so much fun every day. I get to be a five-year-old and catch and outsmart animals. Um, everything from raccoons to skunks to possums to squirrels. Trying to outsmart rats and chipmunks. Mm -hmm. um, and then just bugs in general. So. So yeah. is, there, is there any interesting story that you want to share? Oh boy, the first year that I was doing this, I was in an attic um, looking for evidence of mice. And I came across uh, my first bat, and it was screeching at me. And it was very, uh, it was, it, it, I think it scared the living crap out of me as much as I, I scared and woke him up for the year. So it was, it was, it, it was fun and interesting. <laughs> And that was uh, probably one of my very first experiences that I can recall that stuck with me. Well, thank you for uh, for everything you know you guys do. Because <clears throat> there's no way I can go out there and catch those squirrels or birds. So thank you for your service. You're welcome. Anytime. But I had two groundhogs in those large traps. Um, you catch a lot of different type of animals, right? Yep, possums, groundhogs, raccoons, squirrels, <laughs> birds. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I have had a bird in a cage though, not long ago this year. The hanging cage and the bird just happened to work its way and trip the trap. And one more. Well, this would be pretty good. I really got the just scraps left. Did you figure out where it was coming from? The squirrels? I'm almost certain it's from over there where okay. it just sealed up. Okay. Because remember uh, I was telling you about that spot? Uh huh. When I heard them working over there, it was coming from right there, so. Okay. I'm assuming that's what was the bad spot. Usually, when you go to sell a house, an inspector will check it out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Obviously, those guys can get lazy and not want to do it, so there's that factor. But typically, there's money for them in, in checking the attic, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So, I'm not sure. But I would definitely say that it's probably been here for quite a while. pest control about seven years uh, just got done pulling out two contractor bags worth of birds nests that's the first time I've actually experienced something that crazy um, definitely took quite a minute I'm not even sure how the birds 
got that much material in there, I would assume is years of work. Um, based on what I was seeing, because it's definitely crazy. Well, thanks for uh, taking care of it, though. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Matt and Chad were super nice and very friendly and if you have a pest problem at your home, I would definitely recommend CJB Pest Company.